you know, you'll know. And big thank you to Beth for that welcome this morning with the, the music that we've had to start off our assembly. Now I'm going to hand over for a couple of sets of awards, the first of which we're going to hear from our house captains who have got a load of merit awards. Well done to those of you who've pushed over the edge. We spoke about last week, so we've got a whole load of merit awards. And then we've got some AR reading awards. So over to our award recipients now. Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Um, as you can see, I'm here in Chisamba with no power, um, but we'll have to make do. So this week, I am very happy to see that uh, Eagle has got lots of merits. Um, so to make it quick, I'd just like to congratulate Mapalo Chewe on getting a silver award. Kyla Yoon as well for getting her silver, silver award. Sumin Choi for getting hers. And then Matimba Mutantika for getting her second silver award, which is a lot. I think it's 150 merits if I'm not mistaken. So very well done to you guys. And then for gold awards, there's Breton Porter. So a huge well done to you because I saw your name not too long ago. Uh, Monette Cameron as well, a huge achievement. And um, Prem Palmer as well. So well done to you guys. Um, keep up the hard work for the last few weeks of term. Hi guys, I'm here to announce Falcon's merits for the week. So congratulations to Aidan Marston, Mohammed Nawaz and Jacques Grief for receiving their bronze awards today. And congratulations to Kaliso Jubilee who is receiving his head of secondary award. Thank you for the hard work guys. Hi everyone, today I'm giving two bronze awards to Maria Waraka and Graziella Pasquini and then one silver award to Isabella Scott. Well done you guys, thanks for working hard, keep it up, let's get some more merits next week. Good morning everyone. Very pleased to be announcing the reading awards for this week. Nice to see Piedri Bornman in there with his second advanced reader certificate. Good job, uh, Piedri. Abdullah Omar. Last week we recognized him for his proficiency award, which was absolutely fantastic. And our system has obviously picked up that we still owe him his sixth classic reader award. So there it is. Panayota. I've seen that name before. Panayota Spano, her fourth star reader award. Great job. And a rising reader award. Good to see Hassan Katun doing some reading. Well done to all of those uh, readers, all of those students, and uh, keep reading. We've got a nice break coming up in a couple of weeks, and I hope that the book will be your best friend during that time. Take care. All the best. Cheers. Okay, thank you to my house captains and well done to all the award winners for this week. So last week we had some really good examples of students' work and we've got exactly the same this week. So we've got some examples of work from religious studies, students, from food technology students and also from some English students. So sit back, the teachers are going to introduce what's going on there and we're going to have a look at some really good examples of some of the work that you guys have been doing in the last few weeks. Very good morning everybody. In year eight for religious studies this term, one of the topics we've looked at is how people can defend their human rights. So what happened was uh, students were tasked to design t-shirts which should have a slogan and a symbol and should be used for campaign against abuse of human rights. Enjoy. Good morning everyone and welcome to another episode of Quarantine Wildlife. I'm your host, Matimba Mutatka, and in today's episode we're going to be examining the species commonly known around here as Kumbo. Let's dive right in. The species indulges in daily activities such as swimming. Well, I mean if you could even call it that. It's basically just jumping in and out of the water all day. But anyway, moving on. jumping around like a monkey on the trampoline. The species especially enjoys this, as it can go on doing this for hours on end. Netflixing, well, scrolling through all the shows on Netflix and saying yes, no, maybe, yes, no, maybe, and so on. Gaming, even though the species always loses. And snacking. 
endlessly. Like, seriously. <laughs> I can't wait to... What happened to my biscuits? Well, that's all we have for today. Hold on. This Justin, who just received some very exclusive footage of our species. He seems to be engaging in homework. Now, this is a very rare occurrence for such a species. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's head to the scene! Now, when the species does do homework, he finds it very, very challenging, as you can see. That's a wrap, people. We'll see you all next time on Quarantine Wildlife. Good morning, everybody. Over the course of our Baobab at Home program, many students have experimented with different ingredients and created some amazing food in the kitchen. Now, I'd like to share some pictures with you. Go. Cool. bits of work with us this morning really appreciate that and it's so good to see that we're all still working hard even at this late stage of the term so talking of results we've now got the photo competition and we're going to see the winners from last week remember it was an open competition and then Matali is going And that brings us to the end of another assembly. Hope you've enjoyed it. Well done. Keep working hard. I'm hoping you all have a really good week and that you continue to, to do everything you can do to the best of your ability. So have a great week. I'm going to have a great day. Me and my friend now, we're going to go off and get some lunch because he's looking a little bit peckish. Have a great week, guys.